we are going to open our mouth again and say, Lord, if not for you, I will not be standing here. Lord, if not for you, I will not be standing here. Wait, what, what gave you assurance when you were sleeping that you wake up? I'm telling you, what gave me assurance? What? That I will see you tomorrow. Who told you? It's God that kept you. And that God, you can't just thank him anyhow. I say, what has he done? He has done great things for you. Yes. You are going to open your mouth and give him praise. On Thursday, we were coming here on Thursday, and right in front of our eyes at Ajao Estate, not small, small cars, Baba cars, Land Cruiser, BMW, Pajero, five powerful cars had an accident. It was right off with their body bag. What they call that thing that used to come out from Moto? Hair bag came out. And I told him, I said, what just spoiled there is over 70 to 80 million though. Just like that. Thank you, Lord. You have not lost anything, though. Still, you are frowning. Thank you, Lord. You did not lose your life, but still, you are frowning. Give him praise, Lord. Let's thank him for all he has done for us. You, Please Lord. open your you mouth and give him praise thank for all he has done. Open your mouth and thank him. Thank you for your promise. Open your mouth. Open thank that you mouth. For your protections, open that mouth. We give you all and bless the glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your banner over us. We give you all the glory, Lord. Thank you for showing us the like We worship you, Lord. We give you, you all are the, glory. the mighty God. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. Hey, Thank la to be you. You, you are, are the, the glorious God. God. I like you, you are, are the, the mighty God. God. Hey, he la to be you are the glorious God. You are going to thank him again. Wait, you are going to thank him again. That God did not allow you to beg. With all the recession and all the bullshit they are saying in Nigeria, you did not beg for food. Go ahead and thank him again. In the name of Jesus, we appreciate you. You are not you know, allow me to beg for. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. You did not allow me to be when you finish dressing up some people are saying ah, she's still wearing clothes you say, ah, that baba see they wear clothes and when you wear clothes God has so much done it that people will think you don't have problems ah. oh but they are saying you go soon perish if God open your eyes to see the arrows that fly, fear, fear, fear that God deliver you every day and you are still standing. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and let's thank him together. Sing like never before. Oh, oh. One more time. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Oh, my soul, worship. Worship is all. Holy name. Sing like never. Sing like never. For the month of May, you are about oh, to enter. Thank you for the month of May. Say, Lord, I thank you for this great month thank I am entering. For this great month and I'm entering the month of grace. Thank you for the month of grace. The month of greatness. Thank you for the month of greatness. The month of new height. Thank you for the month of new height. Lord. The month of testimony. Thank you for the month of testimony. Go ahead and thank oh, him. We give you glory for the month of May. Thank him ahead. Thank you ahead of time. Lord. Thank you for the month of favor. For the month of prosperity, thank you for the month of testimony. In Jesus' name, we pray. Glory. 
The Bible said, Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall happen. So I want you to open your mouth and decree what you expect for that month. Are you ready? Open your mouth and begin to decree. The month of May that I'm entering is a month of greatness for me. Go ahead and go ahead, go ahead and make it for A month of favor, a month of fruitfulness, a month of greatness in the name of Jesus. It shall be a month of You are not making pronouncements. of abundance, Lord. A month of joy, a month of celebration, to us in the name of Jesus. May I a month of celebration, a month of celebration, a month of a month of peace, a month of restoration, a month of congratulation in the name of Jesus. We are moving forward in the name of Jesus, a month of moving forward, a month of breaking through on the Lord, we appreciate you. Are you ready as I pronounce what you expect next month for you? Father, we want to thank you for thank all you, you have Lord. done for us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. From January, February, March, April, you kept us. Thank you, Lord. How much did we pay? Nothing. Yoruba singer said, Eloni Mosa. Shall be month of greatness for them. You try. You have escaped the danger from January. The Lord that kept you from January will see to it that you reach your destiny table in the name of Jesus Christ. Every attack against your bread and butter, every attack against your pot of sustenance. It shall not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, some people are not saying amen. That month you are entering, what you have been running after will locate you this month in the name of Jesus. That month you are entering, where they have said no, they will come back and say double yes in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, that month you are entering immediately this service finish you are entering a turning point in the name of Jesus Christ yeah. whoever that has the answer that you have been looking and praying for the Lord will bring you in contact with them in the name of Jesus Christ anybody occupying space in your life that is useless the Lord will remove them and bring the right people in the name of Jesus Christ it will be a month of answer and solution for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pay attention to this. The Bible says when they are saying there's casting down, you will be saying there's lifting now. No matter what people are saying next month, you'll be having testimony. Amen. In your body, bones, and blood, no sickness, affliction shall bring you down in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Now pay attention to this one. The Lord will fight all your battles for you in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. In that month you are entering, I take first class comprehensive insurance for you and your family that no evil will befall you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are not saying amen, no. That month you are entering, anybody that costs you is cursed in the name of Jesus. That month you are entering, anybody that bless you, they are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. You have been saying, my God is awesome, my God is awesome. People will see the awesomeness of God in your life in the name of Jesus 
Now pronounce that you are blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let your word come with power. Let the story of somebody change. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Give your hand together. Jam your hands together for Jesus. As you take your seat. Praise God. I'm not hearing you. What's happening? Praise God. Hebrews, how are you? He said, oh, oh, I'm not hearing you. I said, how are you? I am great. And my God is awesome. You have said it. You will see it in your life. Life in the name of Jesus. Get ready as we go into this very prophetic service. I'm making some pronouncement upon your life. I title this message, your turning point has come. Is that only for 55 people? I said, your turning point has come. Don't forget on Thursday morning. We have a program, I Testify. The last one we did was awesome. To the glory of God, this one is going to be better and more awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't forget when you are coming, come fasting. Don't eat when you are, don't take tea when you are coming. Come fasting. And come with a prophetic seed in your hand. And come with your business contact. With your business contact. I can't wait to see your business become international business. I can't wait for God to take you to that destiny table you have been praying for. Psalm 30 verse 11. My turning point has come. I said my own turning point has come. You are wasting too much time here. I said my turning point has come. Psalm 30 verse 11. Thou, thou hast turned for me my morning to dancing. Thou hast turned for me my morning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and guarded me with gladness. Shall I, shall I prophesy to life for 50 people very quickly? In any area you are mourning, get ready, you will dance. Yeah. I think this area has problem. Let me come here. I say in any area you have been mourning, get ready, you will dance. Yeah. The way you are saying amen, I'm not letting them come to the middle. I said, in any area you have been mourning and crying, get ready, you will dance. Yeah. If I, because of the so much problems in your life, you don't know how to dance. But let me tell you, by the reason of what God will do, your dancing step and style will now be registered in the name of Jesus. Yeah. The Bible said, thou hast done for me my money. Hey, hey, I don't know, sit down, sit down. You don't believe in the word of God again. Because if you believe the word of God, the word of God should intoxicate you. When somebody is taking beer, the first bottle, the second, by the time he's taking the third bottle, he's going to the toilet. And by the time he's coming, he's talking nonsense in his mouth. Why? Because something is shocking him. The word of God should shock you. God will turn your money, your willing into dancing. If you are the one, let me hear a big amen now. Say with me again, my turning point has come. come. You didn't say it very well. Say it again. Let me hear you, Joe. A turning point can be defined as the level whereby a significant change happened in the life of somebody for good. You have been begging for money before, but when you get to that point, God turns it around and you don't beg again, but you begin to give. You have been buried before, but when you get to that point, there is a point God is taking you to. People will not recognize you again. I'm not hearing I say people will not recognize you again. If you are the one I came to pray to, let me hear a big amen again. And turning point can happen in the life of individual, a family, and a nation. It will start from you. Did you say amen? I say it will happen from you. I say it will happen from you. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. The day God met Abraham, and God told him, Leave your family, leave your kindred leave your village to where I'm taking to that was his turning point let me read Genesis 12 1. now the Lord had said unto Abraham get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee 
that was his turning point immediately after that war the life of abraham changed let me see your prophetic hand as i drop this the word from god that will cause a turning point in your life i don't know i'm hearing 26 but i see you receiving that word in the name of jesus christ exodus chapter 3 the day god met moses and said go to israel and bring my poor that was a turning point for the children of Israel. Exodus chapter 3. Read for me. Verse 2 to 4. From verse 2 to 4. Yeah. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire. Should I pray for you? God has angel and agent. Hmm. I have seen angel before and I've met agents of God. Let me pray for the people that believe. Let me make it 70 very quickly. The agent and the angel of God that you will meet, that will cause a turn around in your life, you will meet them after this service in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let me read. Out of the midst of a bush, and it looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt verse 4 and when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see the Lord called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said Moses, Moses and he said here I am let me pray for one person I don't know who you are the Lord said to me I will get your attention this time yeah. you didn't hear what I said the Lord said I should tell you the Lord said I will get your attention this time around yeah. I move forward. You have been forgetting great dreams. Every great dream you have forgotten, the Lord will bring them to pass again. Yeah. Okay. This is only for five people. Every prophecy that has been hanging, I see them dropping on you as blessing in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Say to somebody, my turning point has come. Say. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1 to 8. Don't read. I'll just say. The Bible said, the year that King Uzziah died, Isaiah said, I did what? I saw the Lord. He has been there as a prophet. Prophet with title, nothing to show. But the Lord removed Uzziah for his life to change. The day, the year that Uzziah died was a turning point in the life of Isaiah. Hey, I don't know whether you'll be able to say amen to this one. Anybody that needs to die for you to see the Lord and for you to see the greatness of God, the Lord will remove them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every Uzziah in your life uh, that has occupied the place of God in your life, uh, that has blocked your vision, God will remove them in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Sit down. My turning point has come. Point has I want to be sure I'm talking to somebody. I say my own turning point has come. <laughs> if I tell you something that has happened to me in the past, you will not believe it. Let me quickly make this pronouncement. Anybody here, whether you are family or you are individual, that they are mocking or laughing. After this service, we are they have laughed you. They will come and laugh with you, or they will come and serve you in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Something happened in Ajao Estate. A young man used to come, and anytime he comes, they will give him transport. When he's going, they will give him transport. People giving him transport, they are his cousin, I think. And one day they sat in their apartment and they were saying, there's a difference between finished completely and completely finished. They say it's finished completely and completely finished because they were giving him money. And every time this young man will not stop coming, second Thursday will be praying for him. Second Thursday will pray for him. Second Thursday. Will... <laughs> every time will not stop coming. And one day he come and says, Sir, I am coming to church. I said, What happened? I want to show you something. So when he came, he said, sir, come and see. And when I came outside, I saw the convertible that he parked there. I said, ah, ah, how did you do it? He said, God did it. I said, wow. I said, let me not pray on it now. Let me not pray on it. I'm too excited. People will be looking at me. Let me finish service. So I went inside to finish the service. And when we finished service, the family that said he's always a beggar came again, thinking that he, still, he was still going to collect transport. And he stood up and was going out and said, ah, Oh, Nick, that transport me. And he was just going and he was just going. And when he got to a particular place, he brought out khaki and was still following him. I can't be, I can't be transport. 
and in the pim pim the car open it's just like this and me i was at the back enjoying the scenario i said god catch you where they have thought you are finished god will do a greater thing for you <laughs> where they are saying oh oh la, la, la. you see, don't see your friend we are they are doing family meeting and they are saying mm, mm. you know you know you know yorubas are very powerful bro. when you are telling mm, he's very full of me new we are they are telling you mm, mm. the lord will replace it with testimony in the name of jesus <laughs> lift up your hand pray with me say my turning point has come okay let me pray for 10 people very quickly we are they left you they will not meet you there I'm telling you, okay, I hear this. I don't know who it's for. Your bankers are about to be confused by the reason of the check you will sign. They will call you again. Are you the one in the name of Jesus? They have known that your max max that you sign is 200. 300. And all of a sudden, you are signing 40 million. Then they will call EFCC that there is a thing that came into this woman's account. What is happening? And you will tell them, what is wrong with all of you? Eh? I want to pray for you. The miracle that will confuse family. The miracle that will confuse friends. Uh, the miracle that will confuse pastors. Uh, God will give to you if you are the one. Let me hear big amen. Somebody say my turning point. My turning point. My turning point. Sit down small. Now pay attention to these four things. There are four things that happen when somebody experiences a turning point from God. These four things must happen before anybody or when the person experiences a turning point this is for my one God turns the person's money into dancing it is not everybody or people that lost somebody that mourn when you are looking for something and it's becoming embarrassing you could mourn begin to cry every time you begin to weep every time like Hannah Hannah she's a false wife she loved God. The Bible says she loved God. And this woman kept on going to church, but she didn't have just one thing that she just so much prayed for. And the Bible says she became a public mockery. They disgraced her in the house and they disgraced her out of the house. Now, can I pray for one person very quickly here? We they are mocking you, the Lord will make you again. Yeah. The Bible says she was deeply in pain and she mourned. Why? Because she doesn't have a baby. First Samuel chapter 1 from verse 6 to 8. Let me read. You need to hear this. First Samuel chapter 1 from verse 6 to 8. You need to hear this. Yeah, and our adversary also provoked our soul. Who is provoking you because of what you don't have? For to make our fret because the Lord had shut up our womb. Yes, continue. And as he did so year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Can I pray for you? Bring God down, catch if I said you should come with bring it out. I told you I want to do something prophetic today. Bring that catch out very quickly. No waste time, no waste time. Have you brought it out? Wipe your face with it. Wipe it very well though. Wipe it very well. Are you wiping it? This is the last time you will ever cry in the name of Jesus. I, I think I'm not in the right side. Let me come to this side. I said this is the last time you will ever cry to, for a plus for the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says our enemy provoke her and every time she's crying as you wipe your face again I pray for you. You will not cry for your enemies in the name of Jesus. Okay. Okay. S -s Sit down. I'll see you later. Continue reading. Verse 8. Verse 8. Then said Elkanah, her husband, to her. And her husband said to her, Hannah, Hannah why we pest thou? Why are you crying? And why it is thou not? You are not eating. And why is thy heart grieved? Some of you, you have not been eating. You are grieved, yes. I'm not I better to thee than ten sons. All those ones. Anna no care about all those toasts, you know. What she wanted was what? A baby. What are you looking for that has made you to be mourning? She waited for a child. And every year she was going to church. But it got to a point. God turned her money into dancing. You have reached a limit. 
whereby you will no longer cry to your devils to the devil's advantage in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not hearing. I said you have reached that limit. Your tears, your weeping days, they are over in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody here that you've been facing situation and you have been crying, according to the word of God, I said I should do today whatever at the point where you have been crying the lord will give you a miracle that will make you dance in the name of jesus christ if you are the one that just pray for let me hear then just amen now publicly you will no longer cry i'm not hearing you secretly you will no longer cry how did god turn our money into dancing don't forget i said there are four things that will happen when god wants to give you a turn around he turns your money into dancing but how did he happen number one he prayed sorry god had a prayer god had her prayer now some of you when you are in trouble you don't want to pray again i've had people that said i'm so discouraged i can't pray <laughs> there is no other way apart from prayer god had a prayer this is only for 80 people where are they god will hear your prayer today <laughs> I'm not hearing. I say, God will hear your prayers today in the name of Jesus Christ. She was discouraged, but she kept on praying. She kept on praying. She kept on praying. And some of you don't know that the level God has placed you, no, people must not know what you are going through. You pray, you cry in the bathroom, you cry in the secret room. Nobody knows what you are going through. They must not see your tears. Are you ready for this one? What they will see is your testimony. I'm not hearing you. I say what they will see is your testimony. God knows we are going to have problems. James chapter 5 verse 13. He said something. James chapter 5 verse 13. Yes. Is any among you afflicted? Message Bible says, is anybody hurting? Let him pray. Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalm. Good news says, is any suffering hardship? Let him pray. What are you going through? You should pray. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man more. What the devil wants you to do is to stop praying. Somebody say, I will stop praying. I will stop praying. I'm not hearing you. Say, I will stop praying. Hannah did not receive her miracle by just going to church or by one dry casual prayer. She kept on praying. Don't stop praying. Help me shout out. Somebody tell him, don't stop praying. Tell him for me. Her money was done to dancing because God heard her prayer. Even the man of God loved her. Have you forgotten? And she will have given it back to the man of God. Some of you can't take it. You will give it back to him. You will give it back to you. I don't take nonsense. I've taken a lot of his shit. Yeah. She didn't. She was not provoked. She kept on praying. And the same man of God, God used and said, that prayer is answered. Can I see pray for you? I might not be your own model, but I'm not an old model. I want to prophesy. That prayer you have prayed for years, God will answer them today. <laughs> so God heard her prayer. God will hear your prayers. Amen. Shamina that say God will hear your prayers. Amen. Number two, how did God turn her money to dancing? God remembered her. God will remember you. Hey, bro, God will remember you. Amen. First Samuel chapter one verse nineteen to twenty. First Samuel chapter one verse nineteen to twenty. Yes. And they rose up in the morning early yeah. and worshipped before the Lord yeah. and returned and came to the to their house to Rama and Elkanah knew Anna his wife. And the Lord remembered her. Lift up your hand. Let me prophesy. I don't know for how many years it seems you have been forgotten. But the Lord that has called me and sent me is telling me to speak to your life. After now, you shall be remembered for good. I'm not hearing you. I say, after now, you shall be remembered for good. Now some unusual things will happen as you're about to enter me that will make you to wonder that, ah, we ask God being because God will face you and surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ. God will not only remember you, He will wipe away your tears. If you are the one that just pray for, let me hear, living in Amen now. Please sit down. Number three, what happened when God, how does God turn money to dancing? Don't forget, I said four things will happen. I'm still on that number one. I said, 
how when God turns um, somebody's situation around or you get to a turning point, four things happen. And the first thing that happens is God will turn your money into dancing. How? The first thing that will happen is that God will do what? He will hear your prayers. And the second thing is what? God will remember you. And the third thing is God will do a big thing, a great thing for you. Now, I noticed something about this woman. Now, every one of you listen to me. When you have been looking for something for a long time, and you now want to pray, or somebody wants to give it to you, they, uh, they ask you, what do you want? You say, just give me anything, yes or no? Hannah was not like that. She didn't ask for just any child. She didn't ask for, no, just give me any child. No. Crumbs are for dogs. Stop asking for crumbs. Though you have waited, does not mean that you are going to get crumbs. Did you hear me now? You have waited. Let me pray for you. What God is giving to you is bigger than your generation. Yeah. You didn't hear what I said. I said you have been waiting. What God is giving to you is bigger than your mathematics. Yeah. And she asked for something big. Say, give me something that is worth it that I can give back to you. She didn't ask for a girl. She didn't ask for just any child. She said, give me a son. Give me a big boy. And I'm going to bring the boy back to you. <laughs> hey, let me see your prophetic hand. Keep praise if we I pray for you. Your hand has been handling small, small miracle. By the reason of this turning point service, uh, get ready to carry a bigger miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. There are miracles and there are miracles. Miracles that will make people to say where you get them from. God is about to deliver to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your wasted time and your waiting time is over in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are the one I just pray for, let me hear a big amen. Oh. Sit down. You are no longer going for, for crumbs. You are getting the best. You are getting the bread. Are you the one I just pray for? I said you are not getting crumbs. After waiting for years, you now want to buy a house. You want to build a house. You now bought one stupid house. No. After waiting, Bible said those that wait upon God is a renewed one. That's right. Your turning point has started. Amen. Now, the second thing that you experience when God gives you a turning point is that He repairs anything they have called a write off. There are some accidents when it happens, you say this motto is what? It's a write off. There are some sickness. When you get there, you say it's right off. Do you remember the madman of Gadarim? That guy was not ordinary mad. He was raving mad. Madly mad. Baba Wiri. He was not a madman under the bridge. He was not a madman in the street. He was a madman living in the cemetery. Now there are problems you could have that you could tell your member, please help me, my friend, help me. But there are problems you have, health-wise, financial-wise, that nobody can help you. Then they concluded you as you are that you are a write-off. Anybody here that they are looking at you as a write-off, are you ready for this one? God is about to shock them in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Mark five that this guy was so mad he was cutting himself. This guy was so mad. His life was dejected. Family left him. Everybody left him. But his maker went to him. I want to pray for you. If a madman can experience a turning point, I pray for you where you are. God is about to meet you in the name of Jesus. Was it not a turning point? When God was preaching and he said, let us cross over to the other side. Why? Because of a madman. If God can go after a madman, adjust yourself. You are not mad. You are too much. If God can pursue a madman, God is coming after you. Yeah. Oh, Shami Dada, do you remember the man that was at the bedside at the, at the pool of Besada for 38 years? Do you remember? 38 years. His case was a write off. How do I know? No family, no wife, no children. We are his children. But the Bible said, Jesus passed. The first box, second, third, fourth, fifth. The Bible said there are thousands of widow people, but Jesus went to him. I don't know where you have been forsaken. Jesus is coming to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let me tell somebody, don't write me off. My turning point has started. You are not telling, tell him, don't write me off. 
tell him my turning point my turning point my turning point something happened two years ago a man and his wife came for counseling let me pray for all the men here woman will not feed you yeah. hey, I, mean I said woman will not feed you yeah. ah you want to say I said woman will not feed you yeah. some of you are excited that woman is feeding you I've never been excited when woman give me money and as they were coming for counseling I saw the pride the woman was in front. She ain't even learning. And I, I was irritated already. And as they sat down, the Lord said to me, Tell not the Jews, Abby. But what happened? God used that one to lift Mordecai and kill Hammer. I pray for you. Every plan to disgrace or frustrate you shall be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Your amen is not good. Everything the devil has planned to harm, to disgrace, to embarrass you, God will use that thing to lift you up in the name of Jesus Christ. And let me tell you, God does not joke with two things his name and his word. Why? He doesn't want his word and his name to be dragged in the mud. Any situation you are going through now that will make people to ask, Where is your God? That case expire now in the name of Jesus Christ. I sense the prayer is not for 